I'd like you all to welcome another new addition to our ward, Steve. A freedom master. Steve Elkerton's just a, a cover. It's like Clark Kent or Bruce Wayne or Peter Parker. Cool, we got more Jesuses than superheroes. Well, I try to blend in in the outside world, but I figure in here, everybody gets it. Hey, we're living in the ward of justice. Alvy, can you explain a little more about what you think everybody gets? Look, there's good and evil in the world. And some people are, are special and they're chosen to help keep evil forces at bay. You don't think you can stop bullets, do you? I move out of their way. Can you read minds? No. Group time, Greg. Why isn't she talking? She needs help. She needs somebody to save her. That's what we're all trying to do. Let's take five minutes. Everybody get to know Steve. Freedom Master, think you could help me out? You need help? Of course, it's, it's what I do. Great. Could you move the piano for me? 500 pounds, it's not too much, is it? Uh, was there something trapped underneath? Or? No, <laughs> I just want to move it away from the window. I'm sorry, my powers aren't just for frivolous. Just one quick lift. Uh, why are you doing that? House, it's none of your business. Just curious, as a doctor, what are you doing? Either he is Freedom Master and he shouldn't be here, or else he's suffering from a serious and dangerous delusion that he needs to deal with. So, legit medical reasons. Yeah. He's trying to break the guy because he's a little different. He's not different, he's delusional. Can you help me out? What is she looking at? You're not a superhero, Stephen. You're just a regular I can save her. person. That's okay, we're, we're all just regular people. It's what we do. They stole her voice box. They have it in there. That's what she's staring at. That's what she's staring at. She's always staring at Your, your in wife there is dead. Good can defeat evil. Not every time. Evil people killed a lot of good people that day. You couldn't save her. No one could save her. It's in there. Her voice is in there. Her voice is in there. Kill Gray. Her voice is in there. <laughs> Where's Freedom Master? He isn't able to take part. Get out there. He said everybody has to get out there. Talk! Say something! Dr. House. Leave him alone. Did you drug him? Of course I didn't drug him. He's a flat affect. He's practically catatonic. Hey, we got cake. He's fine. Double chocolate, yummy, yummy. Don't tell me that he's fine. You did this. He was functioning. He was happy. He was delusional. Yeah, he's way better off now. Dr. House, let's talk. Thinking sucks. I'm not allowed to get angry. They screwed him up. And for the record, I am two privileged levels above Susan. I got the same depression scale score. Every patient is different. It's not about scores and levels and- Happiness is happiness. The test is the test. Coping is coping. And you think you're a- Absolutely. I need to address some deeper issues, which I can do on an outpatient basis. Three hours a week? And that's just my opening offer. If you want to counter, I'll likely fold. No. No is not an argument. You trying to frustrate me? No. No, again? I can cope. I'm coping. In fact, I'm coping better than you think. I've not been taking my meds. Not one. And yet, I still scored high functioning in your depression test. So your proof of your well-being is that you lied? Manipulated. My proof is that I can fool the test. I can fool you, which means I am high functioning. I am sane, rational, capable. I should not be here. These are your pills from today? I'm not gonna take it. I'll just cheek it again. Lick it. You want me to lick your hand? I washed. It's sugar. Your test results were improving too regularly and too quickly. I was concerned that you weren't taking your pills, that it was all an act. So I switched you to a placebo. 
to see if your improvements would continue. <laughs> your psych test told me nothing, but your urine tests told me you were faking. You need to stop fighting the system. You need to let me do my job. Oh, that is impressive. That is a superhuman feat. Why don't you take a rest before you fly that thing up to the ward? He's still depressed. Give me your car keys. You gonna dangle them in front of him to entertain him? I'm gonna make him feel like he's flying. I'll just drive him around the grounds, top down, wind in his hair. <laughs> Seriously? You're gonna say no to that? Why are you so nice to me? I think you have a good heart. Would you still be nice to me if I told you that I lied? I'm not just driving around the grounds in your convertible. I'm kidnapping him and stealing your car. Sure. It's just starting to feel a little heat between us. We had kind of a Bonnie and Clyde thing going there. Bonnie and Clyde get shot to pieces. See ya. You can do this. If you hold my hand, I can do it too. Freedom Master, scaring the good citizens. That was the coolest moment of my life. It was fun. You can repay me by telling Nolan he's an idiot. Smell that fresh air and the warmth of your yellow sun. We do enjoy it. <sighs> Careful of the traffic. No damaging any fenders. Hey, hey, come on, get down. There's no cry for help. There's no cat in a tree. Thank you, Greg. No! He's lucky to be alive. He's got a lacerated spleen, rotational pelvic fracture, compound break of the femur and humerus. Everything in your life has been about finding the truth. But suddenly, with this guy, you decide to reinforce a sick man's delusions. You just want to take a swing at me. You don't care about getting out. You don't care about him. You don't even care about the truth. You don't care about anything else. I'm transferring you to Winslow Psychiatric. You'll have better luck pulling the wool over their eyes. I'm done. Don't. I need help. 